Now, no project would really be complete without being able to integrate images into it. So that's what we're going to learn how to do inside of this video. So it, to do this, we're going to go to Assets and then Images. And by following the Rails pi Asset Pipeline principles, this is where we're going to store our images so we can access them later. So there's a few ways you can do it. One, you could just dump the file into the images directory, which is fine, but if you have a project that's gonna be pretty big and have a lot of image files, then you typically wanna organize this. So I'm gonna create a new directory here. And I'm going to say new folder and call this logos to pretend that we have multiple logos. And then uh, I'm going to open this up in the finder. And I'm going to go to logos directory. And then I'm going to drag in a logo that, uh, uh, that I have for my uh, consulting company. So we have logo.png and you can see it now in the file system. So if I want to put this on every page of the application, I'd open up my application file and then come here and put in some embedded Ruby. And now I'm gonna use one of our image helpers. So I'm gonna do image tag and go and say logos slash logo dot png and like make sure the cons uh, the site's working it is or the server is running hit refresh and there you go we have our logos brought in and you can see that image when i did image underscore tag it knew to go into the asset pipeline and find it right here so this is how you would pull in an image and how you'd store it. Now, as you can see, this wouldn't be too helpful. So what you can also do is you can pass different options available to it. So image tag is really just a method call and there are optional uh, parameters you can pass to it, one of which is width. So I'm gonna pass a width of 100 pixels now let's make 150 pixels to it. Hit refresh, and now you can see that's something that is a little bit easier to manage. And obviously, in a real application, you'd probably put this inside of a div, and uh, then you can give this div different classes, and this wouldn't do anything right now because we haven't added anything, but uh, that's what we're going to do in one of our next videos is seeing how you can apply different, uh, different CSS classes and styles and have those inside of the asset pipeline as well.